Joining me right now, Progressive Radio host Chris Hahn and Ned Ryan, the CEO of American Majority. I'm going to get to Hollywood in just a second uh, because it is interesting that a member of Hollywood, the comedian Steve Harvey, said, "Look, I, I want to make it work." Nicole Kidman also said that you know you got to hope for the best for the person who's going to be the president of the United States. We'll get to all that in a second, but first, back to what he just said there: that everybody's entitled to have their own opinion. He wants them. To have their own opinions. Ned, I was making the point with a guest earlier. Isn't that what you need in a chief executive? I mean, doesn't a leader say, okay, everybody have their own intel, so to speak, their own right. viewpoint, and I will make a decision after I hear you all out? Right, no, exactly. And I think that's what uh, Donald Trump's approach has, has always been and is going to be with this administration. He wants to find the best uh, for each position Jeff Sessions for AG and Mad Dog Mattis for DOD, and all these people who might not be in total agreement with Trump, but are very intelligent, very successful people who are all, you know, strongly opinionated, are going to share their opinions. But guess what? At the end of the day, the final decision maker is going to be Donald Trump. And I think he likes this situation. He wants to hear different points of view. But at the end of the day, let's, let's not, you know, deceive ourselves. Donald Trump will be making these decisions, and he's very confident in who he is as an individual. So I, I think he's you know, very happy. I got to hand that. it to him that he's taking all these meetings, yeah. Chris Hahn. Uh, you know, a lot of presidents. And, and by the way, Barack Obama was heavily criticized for this because he was not political in the sense that he wasn't willing to engage people uh, on both sides of the aisle and do those little things like, you know, have a dinner or play golf, uh, et cetera, with them. Donald Trump out there, not even in office, but he's taken all kinds of meetings and he's taken meetings with people on both sides. And isn't that what you want? Yeah, I think we do want to see a president engage both sides of the aisle. And I wish that uh, President Obama played the Washington game a little bit more uh, when he was president. I think he probably would have gotten more accomplished mm -hmm. uh, if he had. And look, I think that it's good that he's allowing his cabinet people to have their own uh, opinions and own uh, responsibilities. But he's got to understand that the decisions they make Will, he will be held responsible for them. And he won't be able to make every decision that goes on in those cabinet departments. So he has to make sure that those people are on somewhat of the same page with him. It's good to have divergent opinions so that you get a debate before you make big decisions. But remember, a lot of the cabinet level decisions don't make it to the president's desk. Mm -hmm. which, um, I, which I think is a good thing, though. I mean, if you look at it and go back, yeah, he's going to be confident that they're going to make a lot of the day to day decisions and make them right. Yeah. But again, we yep. get to the big oh, decisions. You got to have a good Trump's team. Trump's going to be making those Absolutely. decisions. Absolutely. Uh, I always say, that right you're only as good as your team he right. can only do so much um let me let me get to the hollywood issue because uh, <laughs> his his nemesis yeah. rosie o'donnell was out there tweeting quote <laughs> i fully support imposing martial law uh, delaying the inauguration until trump is cleared of all charges now maybe she was just kidding Maybe she wasn't, um, but not. it's very clear. All of these celebrities. She is you saw a comedian. The, you, you saw the "I will survive" thing from the uh, Oscar nominees. They're they're kind of depressed right now, Chris Han. Uh, they're they're grasping at straws, trying to figure out how the how on earth this man who was so yeah. despised by their community could have ever won. Are they ever going to get over it? Yes, they're going to get over it. I'm going to get over the fact that I'm not your plus one for the inaugural ball. They'll get over him being president. It is what it is. I think, look, I think the institution is stronger than any individual. I think that I will survive video is the first step towards accepting that he's going to be our president for the next four years and they've got to get over it. That's what I will survive is about. I'll survive this defeat that they had. They had a defeat. I had a defeat. We've all had some, a lot of Americans did not vote for uh, Donald Trump, but he is going to be our president one week from today. And I think that we're going to all have to hope for the best. Uh, we'll challenge okay. him when we think he's wrong. Last we'll support half him when we think he's right. I like we'll the side of you, success. Chris. I like it. <laughs> Good to see both of you. Thank you, Ned.